Novak Djokovic made a triumphant return to Arthur Ashe Stadium at the US Open, fresh off his Olympic gold medal victory in Paris. With golden bags draped over his shoulders, Djokovic's pride in his latest achievement was evident. However, the tennis world moves fast, and the 24-time Grand Slam champion quickly shifted focus to his next challenge. Djokovic kicked off his US Open title defense with a commanding performance, defeating qualifier Radu Albert 6-2, 6-2, 6-4 in the first round. This victory marked his 78th win at Arthur Ashe Stadium, making him the man with the most wins in the history of the venue. After his Olympic triumph, Djokovic took time to celebrate his success, a rare move for the 37-year-old who usually quickly refocuses on the next tournament. He chose not to compete in Canada and Cincinnati, instead staying in Paris to savor the moment. He later returned to his hometown of Belgrade, where he was met by tens of thousands of fans, celebrating with fellow Serbian medalists. Djokovic even took time to greet supporters from his car as he drove through the city streets. The US Open is Djokovic's first hard court event since March, and only the fourth tournament on this surface for him this year. Despite limited preparation, the second seed has a favorable draw, with top contenders like Carlos Alcaraz, Janik Sinner, and Daniel Medvedev positioned far from him in the top half of the bracket. Djokovic's first challenge was Radu Albert, a 34-year-old Moldovan qualifier. Although Albert is known for his consistency, his lack of power made him an easy target for Djokovic. Despite struggling with his first serve early on, Djokovic quickly found his rhythm, dominating his service games and putting relentless pressure on Albert. The match ended in a straightforward win for Djokovic. It's always challenging to start, especially when you haven't played on this surface for five or six months, Djokovic said after the match. I haven't had any official matches before the US Open, so I expected to be tested a bit more in the opening rounds. Djokovic added that he plans to use the days between matches to fine-tune his game. The good thing about slams is you have a day between matches to train and perfect your game, he said. I'll hit the practice courts tomorrow and work on things that didn't go well during the match and keep striving to improve. Despite recently undergoing knee surgery, Djokovic moved well on the court, though he continues to wear a knee support. The knee is fine, really, he assured. I haven't had any issues throughout the Olympic tournament or in this first round. Knock on wood, it's all good. Looking ahead, Djokovic will face fellow Serbian Laszlo Gia in the second round. Gia pushed Djokovic to five sets at last year's Open, so the match could be more challenging than it appears on paper. As Djokovic begins his quest for a record 25th Grand Slam title, he remains as motivated as ever. People ask me, now that you've won everything, what's left? But I still feel the drive, the competitive spirit, Djokovic said. I still want to make more history and inspire young people to watch and play tennis.